I thought I might try and do a live video on some aspects of SEO with regards to Joomla. We've got a Joomla 4 demo site here and we want to highlight some of the issues that Joomla still um, has in regards to SEO and how Google likes things. Um, it's not that Joomla's wrong specifically, <clears throat> it's just how Google tends to work and there are some agreed things in the SEO community that are just sort of nailed on. So if we look at, this is an article inside a category that's Greece travel. We've got the H1 that's the category. Now WordPress doesn't work like that and this is why WordPress is better out of the box. So if you had no SEO knowledge, you will find that if you just started blogging on WordPress, you would start to get more traffic than if you just started blogging on Joomla. Google struggles um, for the following reasons. So this category, this H1, is going to be replicated for every single um, article in the category. Um, and the H1 tag should be reserved for this which is the article title. Now this is in the in the the title tag and your H1 should be filled with the keywords that you're targeting effectively. So what we want to do really, if you want to keep the category, we want to make that the H2 and then we want to make this the H1. Um, we've already got the category here, so you might feel this is nice for the user perhaps just to to see that you know it's a signal that they're in there so it wouldn't hurt if this was the h2 or h3 basically demoted from but what we mustn't have is this which is an incredibly hard to rank for keyword in the h1 and not to mention like i said before the problem is is that that is going to be replicated across every single page so you're creating a situation where Google doesn't know which page is Greece travel and you're not targeting that keyword anyway so there's two issues with it and it needs to be changed unfortunately um, as we're going to see in the back end there's no way on an article level to turn off this category in Joomla 4 at least not that I've found and not using default templates and not using um, templates that I've used myself such as Rocket Theme um, which is based on the Gantry framework. So anyway that's the issue we're going to look at today so we're going to, that's the problem and we need a solution for that and effectively this is something that really could drastically shake up your ability to rank in Google. So this should be worth watching for you. Children of parent templates. How do we know what page is using what? It can be a little bit confusing. So if, for example, we go into styles, then we know that we're looking at the European pages currently because it's Greece and Greece is into Europe. So if we click on this style that was created, it was created from this template. So Cassiopeia underscore landed. If we close that and go back to the templates, here we can see this is the parent. And here we can see this is Cassiopeia home. And there's always details and files on the end of all of these. So it's the words at the start you're looking at. So if we look here, this is the one we want. All of these others are for other pages. So if we click on that, we get to our editable uh, files. Now currently, this is where the overrides are created, but you need to, if, if you're going to edit subsequently any file, just make sure you do it in this editor template because whenever you click something with this tab open, it creates an override. We're going to want to create from the com underscore content because that is the standard way that Joomla creates 
an article view from the content and it's the um, content component which creates the article and which we're going to need to edit. So if we click on this and we're going to, we're not editing the category view we want each individual article so we click on that and it's created this override for us so you can make a note of this and they follow the same pattern so the overrides get created in templates the name of your style or, or child template rather and then in the HTML folder commons underscore content article if we look at try to find this in our back end we want templates and we can see here we've got our child templates that we've created that inherit from the parent the reason we do that is if ever the original Cassiopeia is updated then our child templates won't be overwritten when that gets updated so this is the HTML folder if we just go back we can see it's Cassiopeia landed HTML common score content article common score content article and we've got these two created so if I open you can edit like I said you you can click in here to edit to edit this and we make sure we're in the editor tab otherwise you will see that multiple versions every time you click on a folder in create overrides it would create a time stamped version so make sure you're in the editor tab and you you want common school content article and you can open it up here and we get the file um, I'm going to show differences because that's very useful. So in here is where we're going to be making our edits to the headline tag. So, and it looks like it's around about here in this particular template that we're going to be editing. So, and if you prefer you using FTP or this is the same file that we're looking at, it, it's absolutely the same so we're looking at this line 54 line 54 the headline line so we're gonna be editing this and edit the file accordingly so that we have a better technical SEO well not technical SEO SEO situation with the h1 and issue that we've just described so let's edit it in in Joomla for the moment and then have a look at it in our standard editor so at least you can see how to edit it in the back end here which is quite handy really and it's a decent editor um, so the first thing we need to have a look at is this h tag variable that gets used effectively this is a, a syntax that the variable gets assigned either h2 or h1 depending on this parameter so that parameter will be set from the back end of Joomla and I believe this only comes from the menu layer unfortunately we don't have that in the article layer if we did we wouldn't have to do this at all um, because the problem is is that we can't create a menu for every single article unless you've got a very small website which that is one way of doing that then without resorting to this we've got lots of articles and we want to edit them all at once so we need to edit the template the template is actually wrong well as far as Google is concerned anyway in an ideal world Google would be better equipped to determine the nature of the page um, but unfortunately it still relies on on the h1 tag um, significantly so we're going to so if this 
show page heading is true, um, then it gets the H2. If it's false, it gets given the H1. And what we could do is flip those around um, and that may work for us, but we need to we need to go a little bit deeper. There are two places we need to look. So if we are in, this is the H1 and it's this page header code here, and this H1 gets inserted inside that. This div class is not a problem. It's the, it's the designation of the H1 that's the problem. And then we come down here to the next item, it's H2. So it looks good to the human eye, um, but effectively we want to rank on this, the H2. So if these were swapped over, that, that could be one way of dealing with it and you would see an increase in, in your performance if you swap those over. But we do want to still show it. If we didn't want to show it, we could remove the page header. Uh, sorry, yes, the page header one, this one, sorry, they're both page header. We would want to remove the H1. So the H1 is getting shown up here on line 40, actually, and this is hard coded in. So what I'm going to do for now is just make that an H3. I'm going to really demote that because it's really not something I even want Google to try and emphasize at this point in time. So you can make the edit and click save. And now if I scroll up, we can see this really awesome, I mean, this is great guys, the guys at Joomla creating this sort of thing. This is brilliant. So we can see what we've changed here. And, and if we mess up, we can delete the file and start again, which if you're a beginner, you know, We've all been there, you might need to do that. So let's go and have a look, see what that's done. Um, we may need to clean the cache quite aggressively for this to show up. So what we've done is we've created an override file and we're saying that that page uses this template. So it should have updated that automatically. But caching can be a bit of a tricky pain. So this is our page. Let's let's refresh and see see if anything's happened. Well, already I can see the style has has changed. Um, the CSS has already demoted that, and we've got our H two. So we only changed this H. We only changed this from an H one to an H three, but we still need an H one. So we're going to go back and find that next block, which was around about 54. And this uses the H tag variable, which outputs, you can, also, you can already see that it's getting the brace, the start of the brace before we start to render literal um, variables. So that code there, this is the HTML. If we took out that which is highlighted here, we would see the standard HTML let me just delete it to show you. So this in PHP is gonna, I'm gonna delete that. And you can see the HTML is there now and it would replace it with whatever the variable is. So it's currently doing this. That's what that line of code is doing. So Apple Z back out of there. So this isn't necessarily wrong. You could hard code that if you wanted to, to make it easier, but I'm just going to make it so that this is going to be an H1 in both cases and that will work. So I'm going to click save and let's have a look. Yes, it's picked up our changes. So these SEO changes are very easy to see. Uh, hit refresh here. Uh, it looks like We've got a nice big chunky H1 now. Job done. So what have we done? We've found out which template we were using. We've now created an override for that. And if we look in other countries and see, I'm trying to think if we've got any content on any of them. Um, so we're in, this opens up 
a category page for Germany. We don't have any articles in there. Malta. Again, we're at the category level. We've got a Malta page. So let's have a look at this one. So because this uses the same template, we've got our H3 and our H1. So we've just proved that we've made this code change and it has, we can now close this, and it has now created, let's, let's reopen this. If we reopen that, we can see, oh, that's not the right page. We can see here's the change that we made. So this is just proving that that file was edited by Joomla. And we'll come back into Joomla world. And yeah, so that's, that's how you improve the SEO by creating a simple override.